there was so much support when you guys were on The Voice. Absolutely, and even before The Voice, yeah. this area embraced our band from the jump. They came out to the local winery. That was like our first ever gig. Um, and people packed the lawn at the winery, and we were just singing for three hours there. And, and so ever since that point of starting the band, we felt such a warm welcome um, into the music industry. And ever since The Voice, we, we moved to Nashville, we've gone pro, and uh, we still feel those warm feelings towards this community, the ones that really believed in us. They were the first ones to believe in us. And I can imagine that all that attention at once, it must have been a lot too as well. <laughs> it sure was. It, I mean, it was. We had so much going on in our lives at that point. Um, in fact, our father was like dying at the at the time of of us winning the voice, and so it. Yeah, there was just a whirlwind of emotions, huge highs and huge lows at the time. Um, but it's so nice to have each other to lean on, um, keep each other grounded, and. Uh, yeah, and we, yeah, we can't thank the fans enough for the platform that they've given us, given us this opportunity to make music for, for our job. And uh, so, yeah. Music really is a vehicle, too, because a lot of people assume the music is made for them, but for a lot of artists, it's for them personally. Yeah, it is so true, um, especially with our grief around our dad. He used music, and we got to watch that throughout his life as he wrote and used music to express himself and, and we're lucky to have some of those recordings still that we get to listen to. And so that's definitely where our music comes from. It's, it's for us, first and foremost. And then if other people like it, then that's all, that, that's, that's all we really want. Yeah. Our first experience was in school or, you know, performing with the children's choir. And we've had performance experience our whole lives, so it feels very natural. But then when you hit big stages, our, our biggest live uh, performance was at the Indy 500. We were singing mm -hmm. America the Beautiful in front of 300,000 people. Mm -hmm. And it was just a moment of, oh wow, if we don't open our mouths and sing, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be strange. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, you feel those nerves, but it just means you care, and yeah. it just means you've worked really hard and you seize the moment when you get it, and, and we just we love performing. There's nothing like live performance. Yeah. We love it. But bring some pieces like, you know, performing in a room for like seven people, which is what we did on the first yeah. year of our being a band. You know, we would do house shows for such few amount of people, and it really connected with them. And then when you take it to a room with 200 or 15,000, to see that it still has that same impact on the individual level. It, like the fact that we're able to make people feel like we're speaking and singing directly to them. Um, that's, that's what I think is, is our special gift. And I feel like the appropriate way to close out our conversation is on a teaser. I saw back in February you guys were back in the studio working. Any updates that you want to exclusively provide? <laughs> we're so excited about this. Um, yes, if you're watching, you might get some more sneak peeks because we've been in the studio a lot this year and um, we're so anxious to get it out to y'all. Um, <laughs> there's going to be some Christmas music coming. And we have to wait a little bit longer for the next project to come out, but when it comes, you're gonna love it. And you're gonna talk to me first, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs>